top 10 albums performed by a single musician. Yeah, the thumbnail is um, the Foo Fighters self title one, you know, with the pistol, with the old ass pistol on the, on the cover. Yeah, so I don't really know which records are performed by a single musician, but I know that um, Stephen Wilson's debut album, or uh, Borkwitzer's debut album, rather, on the Sunday of Life, was a, a one man thing. Um, but. But, 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 uh, yeah, there we go. Um, it, it is kind of a weaker record by the band, so probably not. And I mean, it is that band, so there we go. Um, yeah, there we go. So, we're just gonna see what's on the list because I can't really think of anything. Maybe the, 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 the slideshow can, or however you say, the slideshow can. Give me something while well, they didn't, but there we go. You know, if, if you lure, if you hover over the feeding, you can see a little bit of it. A uh, mellow bolt? Uh, how's this record called? Melancholy? I mean, did Billy Corgan did, did do all of that? In just his own. That's like a two hour record right there. That's pretty incredible. Oh, yes, Nine Inch Nails. I got your soul. I read them die. Then give you control. I fucking love that song. What is this? Skinny love. This is fucking strong again. This was his debut album. I mean, I hope Poor Country is on there, though. <laughs> that would be great. Blindsided. That's kind of specific, but there we go. You gotta have a best in something, I guess. Okay, move on. He's kind of whining. Oh, what the fuck is this? Oh, Phil Collins. Nothing said. I just have never listened to the later Phil Collins stuff. So preachy. Okay. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, just, you know, Phil Collins with his album covers, man. He's just looking so pale and so bored. <sighs> I like Genesis, though. <laughs> Fuck with my head, mountain. What the fuck was the title? 
fucking with my head Mountain Dew Rock. <laughs> oh, get a get a gross ass fruit out of my face. What the fuck? They just took a bite off of it and then showed it to the camera. What the fuck is wrong with you back? Pay no mind snoozer. Beck is so fucking weird, man. He is like that that psychedelic drug junkie that accidentally makes classic records. He is like that. He probably takes a shitload of drugs though. Probably. I mean, just look at his videos, man. Just listen to his music. Um, oh, no, 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 Siamese Dream. Or, yeah, there we go. You know, I, I, I thought it was um, that other one. And, you know, Melancholy. That, that would be fucking insane, though. The record is like two hours long. To do that yourself, that's pretty impressive. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding, Billy. I love you. I love you. Great all rock band. Oh, I thought it was from Melancholy. This didn't harm the album as it eventually sold 6 million copies worldwide and would become known as one of the defining albums of the 90s. It is probably their best album though. Great record. They have like a song that is called Mayonnaise on there. Fucking great. Oh, what the fuck? That, that is actually, um, that's the, the, you know, that's fucking tune right there. That, that is like used in a lot of investiga investigation uh, scenes. I know that sound right there. It's used as shitload, but I know that Phantom is gonna love this because he loves Mike Oldfield. But yeah, um, he showed me one clip where he, where he was playing nine instruments, I believe. That was fucking insane, man. Talk about an octopus. No, but you know, you, this is so similar, man. This is so recognizable. You know this. I've heard this so much before. Oldfield's debut album at the young age of 19 impressed critics with his multiple instrument talent, which includes piano, guitar, and even the tubular bells. <laughs> Michael Oldfield is a legend, man. The album is actually the first release by now record mobile version. Right I mean, I should get into Michael Oldfield. This is fucking insane. What the fuck, man? Oh, 1999, my prince. There we go. Number five, 1999. Prince. prince is a fucking legend, man. Mm. He, he did perform that with another band, so there we go. Are you fucking kidding me? 1999 is way better.
I mean, Prince is such an underrated guitarist, man. He really is. Uh, the Foo Fighters one. It is a great record though, but maybe a bit lower for me. Well, no, 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 this is a good place, I would say, but not, like, not any higher though. Uh, had like Arnold, Pretty Hate Machine by Nine Inch Nails. Great record. Greatest industrial band ever. Easy. I mean, cannot go wrong with uh, 80s and 90s, 90s nails. Although we think that the downward spiral is a more epic album in scale, it is Pretty Hate Machine that better demonstrates Reznor's ability to create complex, but infectious music. He, 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 he did create a record as well, though. Jesus. What a talent. Pretty impressive though, especially for a blind guy. Critics praise Stevie for showcasing his skill in blending multiple genres together, as well as his addition of longer track lengths. Before we unveil our top pick, well, it was number two, Jesus. The way I feel about Raimi Shant. Who the fuck is he? Uh, Lonerism by Tame Impala. <laughs> Illinois by Sylvian Stevens. Centerfield by John Vogarty. Please put Stephen Wilson on there. Nope, Paul McCartney. Paul's so cute. <laughs> yep. Back 
Vogels aren't an instrument though, dipshit. Respond, so I'm just gonna end it here. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe to the channel. Only for more videos like this one. Um, yeah, let me know what you think about it, and I will see you guys in the in the next video. God bless, safe, take care, and peace.